Hi, my name is Marina Well Worm and I'm an artist and illustrator. What I'd like to focus on in this class is to teach you techniques to draw without fear. So let's say you want to draw. You get all your tools together, you have your piece of paper in front of you, and then suddenly these little thoughts pop into your mind. I don't know how to draw. I've got two left hands. I'm not talented. You know, I'd like to draw, but I have no idea what I'm going to draw. So those are some of the thoughts that can pop up. Let's say you get over that first hurdle, and you've done something, you have your finished drawing in front of you, then some other thoughts might pop up, like, yeah, I, I knew that I wasn't good at drawing. Oh, this drawing really sucks. Why don't I take this little piece of paper and put it in the trash can before anybody ever sees it because it's embarrassing how bad it is. I've definitely had these thoughts pop up into my mind, especially when I was starting out. All these thoughts, though, are rooted in fear. So through five simple exercises, I want us to work on overcoming these inner hurdles and reconnecting with the creativity that's inside you. Because it's there, you just need to find the right amount of sunlight and water to feed it, like these guys. The reason that I find this super important is because these are hurdles that I've had to overcome. You know, you see pictures and you're like, wow, I wish I could do that. Or you just want to be able to have fun, but then you have all these thoughts that come up that destroy the fun that's inherent in drawing. I really feel like this is something that we can work on. I mean, think about it. When you learn how to read, what if you heard somebody be like, oh, yeah, reading, I'm just not talented enough. I'm just... Yeah. You know, other people are way better at it than I am, so I'm just not going to do that. Wouldn't that seem weird? That tells you how we perceive things in a different way. And we see drawing as something that is connected to an innate ability. Whereas reading, we see it as a skill. Well, drawing is also a skill. These are some of the things that I want us to work on. I'm really looking forward to seeing all your projects. And thank you for joining my class.